Hey, I'm so glad you found into this VIP section of the site. It's only for those of you who are on the insiders list. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com and today I'm going to share with you the four carnal sins of goalie training. Now I know that lots of you are training, some of you aren't, which is probably carnal sin number one, doing nothing, but lots of you are trying to do the right thing, you're doing what you think is right, maybe you've read in fitness magazines and what you truly believe is right, but uh, you've been misled a little bit. So today I want to set you on the right path and hopefully open your eyes to how you can train to become a better goalie. Carnal sin number one, you're stretching. And you might think, well, Maria, I'm supposed to stretch. I'm a goalie. I need to be flexible. And that's great. You're right. Keep doing your stretching, but you're missing the secret link that you need to really improve your flexibility. I get emails from goalies all the time saying uh, that, you know, I stretch for 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes a day, but still I'm, I'm not getting a wider butterfly flare or I'm not getting any closer to my splits. And the thing that they're missing is myofascial release. So if you don't include myofascial release, if you don't know what myofascial release is, then you're missing a secret ingredient. So it's like uh, Coke, you know, they'll tell you it has soda water and it has sugar and it has lots of secret ingredients. And right now you're just working with the soda and the sugar water. So Carnal sin number two is your core training. How many of you core train right now? Oh, put your hands way up so I can see them. Okay, so I saw a lot of you put up your hands. Now, keep your hand up if your core training includes no crunches whatsoever. Yeah, just as I thought. So a lot of you still equate crunches with core training. Let me tell you something. The reason you do crunches is because you want six pack abs. And then you tell people it's because you want a stronger core for hockey, but it's really because you want six pack abs. The reason you don't have six pack abs is because you, how shall I put this, eat too many Cheetos. So lay off the Cheetos, let's do real core training that will help you perform on the ice, then people won't care if you have six pack abs, they'll just love you because you're such an awesome goalie. And really with this, if you're doing more of your strength training ground based, so standing up, using cables, using pulleys, including your planks, that's what's going to build a strong core for hockey. The crunches are just going to put some overuse, repetitive stress on your lumbar spine and could actually end up giving you a disc herniation down the road. Cardinal sin number three, you do your training on machines or all of your training is bilateral. I think I have trained a lot of you away from machines. If you still use that machine where you sit down and pull your legs together, shame on you, shame. Um, so the next thing I'm going to pick on is bilateral training. So that means that every strength training exercise you do, you do with both legs at the same time. So maybe you've moved away from the leg press machine, awesome, and now you're doing squats. Great. Now let's take it one step further and see, can you do a single leg squat using the same perfect technique that you have when you're doing a standing squat? Because that's going to bring in the balance and the stability that you need perform on the ice. The final sin of goalie training is long, boring cardio. Say it with me. Long, boring cardio. So the good news is we don't have to do this crap anymore. It doesn't really help us perform on the ice. If we think of what type of athlete really has to do that long, steady state cardio, what pops in your head? Think of it right now. What pops into my head is a marathon runner, and I know because I run three of them that we have to do long, long training because our event is long, long, long. Now think of what you have to do on the ice, and does it resemble the demands of that marathon runner? No, it really doesn't. At no point during a marathon did I have to make a powerful lateral move, go to my knees, get back up, and then just stand there and wait. Maybe going through the water stations. I elbowed a few people, but that, no, that doesn't count. That's different. So don't train like that. The argument is, well, I need cardio. I need endurance because I'm on the ice the whole time. Yeah, you're on the ice the whole time, but you're not in constant motion. You have to go very quickly, explosively for a period of time, and then you're just staying with the play, staying with the play. You're pretty sedentary. So it's actually kind of a relative rest, even though I know you're still mentally focused on the game. So 
those are the four cardinal sins of off ice goalie training. And if you'd like to get a few solutions to a couple of these problems, make sure you download the PDF. If you like this uh, information, then you're probably going to love the stuff that I have for you down below. So check that out, read along down below. Um, and this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com, where my goal is to help 11,000 goalies win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't know how awesome you could be. I hope this information helps you be the best goalie you can be.